Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Crambeck. I'm a urologic surgeon at Mayo Clinic, and I specialize in the treatment of stone disease. About 10% of the population will experience a kidney stone at some point in their lifetime. What causes stones is multifactorial. Uh, there's a hundred ways to form a stone, but not very many ways to prevent them or treat them. The number one cause for stone disease is dehydration. In everybody's urine, there are crystals. When the urine gets too concentrated or condensed, those crystals will come together to form a stone. So your best prevention to prevent a stone is to make your urine dilute. And you can do that by drinking significant amounts of fluid. It doesn't have to be water. It can be any fluid of your choosing as long as it will produce urine and dilute your urine. When we talk about preventing kidney stones, the number one recommendation for my patients is to drink. I recommend between two to three liters of fluid a day to prevent kidney stone formation. But not all stones are formed because of dehydration. You can form kidney stones because you have too much calcium in the urine, too much oxalate in the urine, maybe your urinary pH is too high or too low. So it's important that if you do form kidney stones that you undergo a complete metabolic evaluation to try and prevent stone formation. And that metabolic evaluation can tailor your treatment towards you. That's what makes Mayo Clinic so special. We take a multidisciplinary approach to kidney stone disease. So not only is urology involved in the surgical removal and treatment, but we also have nephrology uh, involved to perform metabolic evaluation and prevent stone formation. And we have radiology involved. We have current research going on at Mayo Clinic where we attempt to identify the stone composition before it is even removed. So with special CT scanning techniques, we can give you an idea of what kind of stone you have before you even undergo treatment. If you do have a kidney stone, you may be fortunate enough to spontaneously pass the stone or pass the stone in your urine. But not all patients are that fortunate. Some require surgery. There are three main surgical treatments for stone disease. Shockwave lithotripsy, ureteroscopy, and percutaneous nephrolithotomy. At Mayo Clinic, we offer all three surgical treatments. We have endourologists that are specialized in the treatment of stone disease and have undergone special fellowship training for these surgeries. Shockwave lithotripsy involves laying on a table. Shockwaves are put through the body, and the stone is broken up into small pieces that then pass in the urine. This treatment is really reserved for what we consider soft stones that are of a certain composition and small stones that are located in certain areas of the kidney. If you are not fortunate enough to have a soft, small stone, uh, then you are looking at one of the other treatment options, which is ureteroscopy or percutaneous nephrolithotomy. Ureteroscopy involves passing a small instrument up the ureter into the kidney, where we use a laser to break up the stone and baskets to remove the fragments. Percutaneous nephrolithotomy involves creating a tract from the skin to the inside of the kidney so that we can remove larger stones using different types of instruments. What type of surgery you need will be dependent on the size of the stone, the composition of the stone, and the location of the stone. Your recovery will really depend on what type of surgery uh, you undergo. Shockwave lithotripsy is often an outpatient procedure and you can go back to work the next day. Ureteroscopy is also an outpatient procedure, but you are looking at a little longer recovery, uh, probably three to four days after the surgery, will you be able to return to work. Percutaneous nephrolithotomy is an inpatient procedure where you have one night in the hospital, and most likely you won't return to work for two weeks. Mayo Clinic specializes in the treatment of stone disease. We have active ongoing research in the uh, pathogenesis or cause of stone, in the treatment of stone disease, both surgical and medical, and in how we can prevent further stones from forming. We take a multidisciplinary approach involving both nephrology, radiology, and urology in the treatment and uh, research of stone disease. I feel it's a privilege to work as a urologist at Mayo Clinic. I am allowed to focus on the patient and their specific disease process uh, so that I can render the optimal treatment for them. I have multiple resources available to me, whether it be certain diagnostic tests or needing to perform a surgery in a timely manner.
That's what makes Mayo Clinic special and that's what makes it ideal for patients.